How's it going everyone and welcome back to another episode of Star Wars The Old Republic Sith Inquisitor Edition. In today's episode we are here on Hoth. Surprise. Um, actually in the last episode um, we left off to a point where we were going to go to Korriban to talk to Harkin about getting an apprentice. Well in the making of that 12 minute yeah. video, my dog is having a your choking session right now. Um, anyways, in the whole process of me recording the last episode, um, we had a power outage, and that kind of rendered my whole video useless. Um, so, uh, just a quick rundown. You only missed 12 minutes, literally. Um, within that 12 minutes, we went to Corbin. We talked to Harkin and the new group of acolytes that arrived on Corbin. Um, there's four of them. There was six, but apparently two of them died at the hands of one of the others. So that's spicy. Um, Harkin is going to train them in trials. Um, he didn't seem too pleased, but, you know, that's Harkin for you. And then we came to Hoth. Um, we talked to some sergeant dude, and he is now telling us to go speak to Talos Drelic. So that is where we are right now. Um, that's all you missed. So, literally 12 minutes of gameplay. Nothing too serious. I'm not going to spoil uh, the apprentices or the potential acolyte apprentices that were shown. Um, because I think that's a... Or that could be a, a fun spoiler not to spoil. Um, so, yeah. I'll just wait till the next time that we get to go over there and speak to them and show you guys what's going on. Um, so yeah, we're on Hoth, the whole planet that is ice, and I hate this planet with a burning passion. One, because I feel like this planet, even though there's literally nothing here, it causes so much lag because of how vast it is. And then, secondly, I'm just, there's nothing here. <laughs> there's nothing to look at. So... We're gonna go on down. I guess we can get on zero. I don't know why I got on my little jetpack stuff. Let's see, we gotta go that. We could have taken a speeder there, what the hell? Alright, so let's keep on just going this way. Because I would like to get off of Hoth as soon as possible. Alright. There's another outpost. And now we can go towards our objective. Which looks like it's going to be down in whatever this is. So my question is, they want us to go around to get down there. Right? Yes. So let's get mixed in with all these big guys. Ugh. Oh, that wasn't a terrible drop. Luckily. Okay, where is Mr. Talistra? Oh, he's inside this cave. Fantastic. Oh yeah, today I did uh, buy some new computer parts. Um, they should be here, let's see, today's Thursday, well, I guess it's Friday now. They should be here Sunday, at least for the item, four of the five items. And then the other item should be here sometime next week as well. Um, but yeah, I got a new motherboard, a uh, capture card, all kind of, like, the whole works, so... Um, I believe Sunday I'm going to be taking a break from uh, my gaming and making videos because I'm going to be working on building my PC again. And also I'm working on a new cosplay for those of you who follow my cosplay stuff. Um, I'm working on a Deathstroke cosplay. It's one I've been wanting to do for a while, but anyways, uh, here we are, Talistrelic. How's it going, man? Close boys, we'll find that temple, I can feel it. Rogers, 
No cutting corners. Don't forget the salt. Salt's not the best solution, but it's the only thing that doesn't freeze out here, and solid footing is a must. Uh huh. I'm looking for Lieutenant Talistrelic of the Imperial Reclamation Service. My lord, I am honored. I heard you single-handedly unearthed artifacts of the Great Tulak Horde. I'm a Naga Sadar man myself, but I'd love to compare notes. What brings you to Hoff? And how may I be of service? I'm taking over this team in order to locate a ship called the Star Runner. Hmm. A ship. Not usually our line, but let's hear it. Maybe we can help. Hmm. A bit new for the reclamation service, but artifacts. And a ghost. I've heard that the dead talk down in the tombs, but to see one, oh. I wonder if it'd be possible to make a hollow image. I imagine it would depend on the light. Yes. Darker would be better. Engineer Sorrel, do we have any probes that aren't frozen solid? Talora works as good as any in these conditions, sir. She may not look like much, but she's got heart. If my guess is correct, the captain would have launched a distress beacon before the crash, which would give us a line on the ship. Not a bad idea. Beware, my lord. A cold's master out here. My boys and I are going to shift camp, try to get a better communication setup going. But let us know if you find anything. So I didn't really understand any of that. <laughs> Gonna be real. Um, but it seems like we gotta go, like, do some probing around with our little uh, scouring the wastes droid up in the right corner. See here. All right, where are we going? We are going that way. I'm just going to run in that direction and run right into a hut. A shower, no glitching. It's against the law. Looks like we're headed up this little hill here. Oh, of course, there's probably... We probably gotta fight that. Uh, yeah, of course, we do. It's in our way. I'll be fine, and why are you glitching whenever we talk? Stop that. Who said you could glitch talk? It's not allowed. Anyways, let's uh, use our little device here. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I hope so. Okay, fantastic. Don't know why I just did that. See, this is why I got new parts. So I don't have to deal with that crap anymore. Alright, let's run down this hill and Ashara. No more glitch talking because whenever you glitch talk, my computer freaks out. I ain't having it. No ma'am. Ah, okay, so we actually gotta go up. Let's get on zero then. Oh, we can dodge several of them and not have to deal with fighting them. Some 
towels out there. We're going to fight the towels. I wonder if I can choose it right here. Nope, I literally have to go over here. Fantastic, okay. Let's fight some towels. Alright, what did I say about your glitch talking? Zero and get off the frozen lake of death. I really do not like this planet. It's so glitchy. Ooh. That looks like our thing. Good deal, good deal. Oh, of course there's... Talls over here. Ouch. We got here. Ooh, this. This is Captain Quellen of the Star Runner. SOS. I repeat, SOS. We're caught in Hoth's gravitational pull, falling fast. Strange events date back two weeks. Yavin 4 artifacts believed to be the source. Something is taking control of the ship. To whomever finds this message, burn this vessel. Don't look inside. Don't touch it. Burn it. Lieutenant Drellick really is something else. Could find a Wampa here in a snowdrift, I bet. Is there anything else recorded on the beacon? Coordinates, perhaps? A hint of where the ship may have fallen? Not as I can tell. Might take a good going over in the lab. But what are those tracks? Lieutenant, sir, we found the beacon, but no ship. There's some light tracks, though. They appear to be a few days old. Have Shalora zoom in, sir. I've been studying alien tracks since I was old enough to know a Twi'lek from a Tukata. Um, Ortolan. I'd know them if they were six days old and covered in jam. Those are Ortolan tracks. I'll be sure to look for you next time my ship's galley is invaded by a pack of Ortolans. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll have to remember that next time the Imperial Reclamation Service Trackers Committee meets. It looks like those Ortolans dug something up. Possibly a clue to the ship's location. Sorrel, where's the nearest Ortolan camp? It's a ways beyond the next outpost. But the tracks look headed in the right direction. Well, it might be time to put on your best diplomatic face, my lord. Ortolans don't like outsiders much, but it looks like they're the key to finding our ghost. I will be utterly charming. I'll have Sorrel bring the beacon to the base. Between it and the Ortolans, we're bound to have a breakthrough. We'll be there when you're through dealing with the Ortolans. Alrighty then, so we get to go deal with Ortolans. I'm pretty sure I know what they are. If I'm thinking correctly they are stop that they are small like little blue like little blue elephant people 
Like, I'm pretty sure that's what they are, and if not, then... You know what? I'm not on drugs, so... That's <laughs> what matters, right? But I'm pretty sure that's what they are. I like Hoth's version of Jawas. Stop throwing shit at me, asshole. And apparently it's just now started to storm here. Alright, even more shit to go on to my lagging planet. Dude, me and you are gonna have so many issues if you keep on doing that shit to me. Just. Get. Bent. Thank you. Okay. Where are we going? Ooh, we, we are going... Oh, not too far. Okay, cool. Cool deal. Just want to make sure I get back in that map, damn it. Okay, we just gotta go to the... Well, actually, we can just follow this, like, little road. That's, like, right here, I'm pretty sure. Hell yeah! High Mount Ridge. Okay. It's quite a distance up here. It's all good. I can hear the thunder off in the distance, and I'm just like, oh god, it's gonna be a big storm. Like, I didn't even know it was supposed to storm today. That's Oklahoma weather for you, by the way. One minute it's sunshine, and then the next minute we could have a tornado, and then the next minute there's probably a fire going on, and then probably a blizzard. And there might even be a tsunami. We don't even leave, live by the coastline, but we'll probably have a tsunami. Is that where we're going? Yes, it is. I love giant just holes in the freaking sides of the cliffs. Our little caves. Some lost tauntauns out. Ooh, a wampa. Stop that. Get away from here. I don't want you. <laughs> I don't want you to go all freaking Luke Skywalker on my ass. Ah! They are the little blue elephant people. Haha! <laughs> I was right. Get out of here. A little adorable self. Look at you. They're literally little blue elephant people. Look at that. <laughs> no, they're like little Eeyore elephants. That's what they are. I love to have a heavy scout here. Get out of here with yourself. Good deal, good deal. Two more? That was rude. Town you got here. I'm looking for the remains of a ship called the Star Runner, which you took from the distress beacon site. Say that again. No offense. 
If you'd rather speak through these idiots for eternity, be my guest. I do no one's bidding but my own. Uh -huh. Consideration is not enough. I want your word. Uh huh. All right, so the Sith Lord is inside the body of the little elephant people. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. Okay. Alright, so we got to go speak to Talos again. Like, hey, the little elephant people and their chief are being possessed by the Sith Lord. So let's go ahead and use our little thing to go down to here. Alrighty. Apparently he is further this way. Further this way. Oh, he's not farther. Okay, cool. Good deal, good deal. Is that the building he's in? Looks promising. Oh, yeah, that's definitely gotta be it. Good stuff. I met the ghost, and he needs me to get inside an ancient temple. And it's true! My peers in the service laughed when I said it was on the hunt, but now, yes! It's the only thing that makes sense! Your ghost said he was a follower of Ludo Kresh, and that Naga Sadao's assassins killed him. Sith, do you realize what you've done? <laughs> what have I done, exactly? This must be the greatest discovery since my mentor, Orsilio Gan, unearthed the wing of Naga Sadao's own fighter on Yavin 4. We're talking about the fabled Sadoween. Naga Sadao's personal order of assassins. Myth made real. Don't worry, I'll get you inside. I've been circumventing the security of ancient tombs since I was old enough to hold a data spike in a pair of pliers. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Let me just gather up my equipment here. All right, let's go.
So, okay, so are you joining me, dude? Are you like my new companion? Because if so, that's kind of dope. I'm down to have like an archaeologist dude on my team. Where the hell did my apprentice go then? She's just like, yeah, y'all go ahead and do your damn thing. I'm just gonna chill. Okay, I'm pretty sure we need to go down this way. So let's go ahead and get on the Z right here. It's kind of cool though that we get tra our Talos. So we really just need to keep alongside this wall. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like we gotta do some fighting real quick. Get him, Talos. Get him. Good job. You are our new companion. Sweet. I guess we'll have to give you some new uh, clothing for the next episode and forward on. What phase is that? Bounty Hunter phase. Interesting. I believe we'll be doing Bounty Hunter next, so that's good to know. Yeah, so the next ones we do will be Bounty Hunter, then we will be doing um, the Smuggler class, and then Consular, then Imperial Agent, oh we went the wrong way, and then a solo run of the Sith Warrior. We gotta go that way. These are why we have maps, people. Man, we're gonna have to fight these guys. I know we're not gonna be able to get around them. Some of my combat training. Well, I'm glad, dude. I'm glad you remember some of your combat training. Get on zero again and head on over there. Is that our cave? It is! Fantastic! Yeah, because that would have been a terrible fall had we gone the other way. Alrighty then. Some blaster marking. Oh shit! Well, that explains that. Bro, Chacho, you better learn how to fight.
And this is not going well, Talents. Did we really die? Talents, you. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, I need you to heal. That's why I got you on healing class. We gotta deal with that again. I don't know. Let's just chill right here and heal up real quick. Yeah. Thanks, man. Can you, like, keep on doing that so we don't have to die every time? You would think, just like with a shock of my electricity, that these droids would just go down. Oh, good lord. Good deal, good deal. Motherfucker. Stop that. This is absolute nonsense. <laughs> Sweet, merciful Jesus. So, um... Yeah, this is not good at all. Oh. Ah. You! Yeah, you. Bro, you better become a fighter because this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god, we just died again. Oh my sweet, merciful Jesus. Okay, so we're going to have to replan this. Um, we're going to leave the episode off here, and in the next episode I might come back grind it up a bit because this is kind of ridiculous that we are dying so easily. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I will see you on the next episode. Uh, yeah. This dude needs some work. Bye!